So in the last video, Noel and I made this uh, mid-century modern home that looks uh, just a little bit mid, uh, no pun intended. And uh, Annex was there spiritually because you know, like he he just adds so much to the to the trio. He he was he was there. Anyways, so since we did the exterior in the last video, we're gonna do the interior this time, and it's just gonna be me, unfortunately, because uh, I'm trying to rush to get this done. Uh, well, not really rush, because I've got a couple of assignments due for school. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this solo, and hopefully I don't ruin it, because you know. <laughs> interior faulty nope they don't go together also before i started recording <laughs> there was a full server and then this guy literally called it we're all, dang we're all about to get kicked so uh yeah shout shout out to you sorry but anyways let's get straight into it i've actually kind of already done some of the things inside as you can see i've i've put up i've spammed a bunch of the new stuff and it, it looks pretty good so far like i haven't even colored it i i don't need to color it that's the plan i i yeah i can't be bothered to color it decals i'll go crazy with decals maybe see with a mid-century modern home all you have to do is search uh abstract art and it'll give you something that looks pretty uh, uh, free images yeah there we go it'll give you something that looks okay like look at this rainbow i like it yeah there we go and we basically call it a day for the decals because uh i'll basically be <laughs> copying and pasting those all over the house but yeah i've only got the living room done probably not gonna be a tv here because you can't really fit a tv really anywhere i've also done some touching up to the ceiling and i've added this little section because it was looking kind of scuffed at the back yeah i don't know if you guys can see this but uh as long as you can't see it it's all right if you know what i'm saying anyways let's start building so all that's left to do now that i have uh basically the entire living room done is the rest of the kitchen uh just just the rest of the house actually which is quite a lot if you think about it but at the same time if you don't think about it why is it not letting me play oh there's a light yeah what was i saying if you don't think about it it's actually not a lot yeah so i'm gonna divide this room up into two sections this is gonna be a a bathroom and then this is gonna be a giant bedroom and i don't know how that's gonna turn out but hopefully it does turn out just gonna make it a little evener if i don't i don't think even is a word but <laughs> whatever and this is gonna be a little closet why not and we gotta get the super tall doors in here of course where are the super tall doors i don't even know if we have them ah this is tall enough there we go okay well since we're already on that i guess we can start with the bedroom and i kind of have an idea for what i want to do for this we're gonna put a carpet here as per usual we always put a carpet under our beds so i'm gonna size this bada bing bada boom and uh unfortunately we don't have uh what do you call them mid-century beds so we're just gonna have to use this modern double hairpin bed in place of that which honestly doesn't look too bad but to use the new update items we're gonna put the these little triangle tables because they look kind of janky oh yeah they look like uh they look like guitar the, the the guitar chips the the things they use to stroke the guitar yeah this is not gonna go anywhere well anyways we're gonna put one on each side because i think that looks cool and if you're wondering where the copy and paste is uh yeah i'm just gonna copy and paste that little tv stand from the uh main room over to here i also don't like the closet so i'm gonna remove that door and move it over here what can i do for this a part of me wants to use like the windows what where, where are the windows just an opening i used to do this every single time in every single build and it honestly wouldn't look too bad so we're gonna do that yeah once again if it if this does seem rushed i do apologize but i have a couple of assignments due <laughs> by a couple i mean um uh, actually i'm pretty much done what am i trying to say i'm just better like that anyways uh coloring is probably gonna be really scuffed but i i think blue works here so we're just gonna uh, yoink blue in there plus noel already got us started with the colors so if i do mess this up i do mess this up anyways back to the new section of the categories what can we put into this room that would make it look super super duper nice yeah no i mean i guess you can't go wrong with spamming a bunch of uh lamps and plants in in and about the place like look at this it already makes the build look so much better just gonna take this painting nobody saw anything we're gonna put that on the wall i don't know if i'm gonna put curtains i feel like curtains would look really nice on this and we're not gonna use any curtains we're gonna use custom curtains because i'm feeling quirky today god dang it i i, for I forgot i have assignments to do. yeah i'm gonna keep bringing that up just so i remember to do it afterwards but yeah we're gonna use these uh <laughs> what are these called i don't know <laughs> we're gonna use these cylinders because they look like drapes i'm just gonna spam them onto the side and hopefully it looks okay in the end it usually turns out all right you can trust the process i think yeah and we're just gonna put the bed back in place all right that doesn't look too bad and move these back okay it's okay not too shabby not too shabby what color should we make the drapes i feel i feel like i'm gonna go with uh the turquoise because the turquoise works pretty well i'm obviously just gonna tone down the turquoise a bit because it is a bit uh what do you call it vibrant there we 
go, and then we can change the darkness of this just to make it look like it's, you know, different depths or whatever. I don't, I don't really know how to describe that, but this ain't looking too bad. For a bedroom, at least. Gotta get some lights in here. Copy and paste a new light in here. Ooh, it doesn't look too bad. Just very bright. What if I made the, the light go into... Yeah, never mind. I'll just make it go lower. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's done, what else can we put into this bedroom? Um, I don't know, but if it was me living in here, I'd probably want my own, like, lounging area. So I'm just gonna put a giant lounging area. Plus, we can take advantage of, like, the couch. Yoink. <laughs> this, is, this is the most luxurious bedroom I've ever seen. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna put the couch in there. What the heck goes in a bedroom? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna make, like, a, a, a supersized desk. And it's also gonna use some of the new items, which is the couch right here. Because I think the couch looks... Or not the couch. What do you even call this? A lounging chair. God dang, if this was my setup, I'd be, I'd be sleeping in here all day. Anyways, they also added some new books. I don't think it was really necessary, but it's a great touch. So props to Bloxburg. Did they add this boombox? I, I, I feel like boombox would look okay for this build. I'm just gonna chuck it onto the ground and hopefully it, it it's... All right. What else is a cool thing? I'm gonna add this clock right here because I, I I think this would be cool. Actually, I'm gonna put it next to the bed. I really like this clock. Very very nice and quirky. Anyways, aside from that, what else can I add onto this desk? I feel like I wanna add a really cool TV right here, but it doesn't fit. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna put a TV. I'm gonna put maybe a Mac or maybe a Mac. I don't know. Did they add a new type of mid-century modern chair or something? I mean, they added this, but it, it's kind of it's not the best like i already have a chair here so why would i want another chair whatever i'm just gonna leave that for now i'm gonna put a bunch of wooden storage things down here just to fill things up i guess i could move the book over a little just like that and then maybe i could just go in with the blinds again because this honestly wasn't a bad idea Ooh, what if i made the chair like a different color maybe green green looks all right green yellow blue very vibrant I, you know what i'm gonna keep the colors like the default colors not just because i'm lazy but because i'm lazy and it looks okay <laughs> Oh, I'm never gonna justify my laziness, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, just gonna color this so it doesn't look so yellow all over the place. Oh, maybe gray would be an okay Ah, uh, but it takes away so much from, like, the, the you know, quirkiness, the, the yellowness. I, I kind of liked it when it was yellow. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll leave it beige. Beige is okay. Okay, anyways, back to this bedroom. It's not looking too bad, but this entire left side is very empty, and I don't know what to do about it. Now that I'm really looking at it, there, there isn't really much that they added in the new update oh this plant it looks this 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 whatever plant the potted monster of i'm not gonna try and say that yeah it, it looks okay it looks okay so what is the difference between oh one has a bunch of white spots on it okay i'm gonna use this one just because it's a little cleaner i mean i think it's an okay idea just to like spam a bunch of pots and whatever just a bunch of pots and whatever around the entire build i don't know it fills up a couple of corners plus since there's such a variety i could just go crazy anyways never mind i take that all back i'm going to fill this wall up with uh bookshelves and then i'm gonna use the new uh books as well obviously i'm gonna mix it in with some of the old books but i feel like this would look pretty good and then on the side of that maybe plant here and then this big plant maybe i don't know yeah this big plant really doesn't fit but whatever all right two bookshelves just spam a bunch of books i wonder if you could recolor these oh uh, no you can't can you resize them oh you can they can be massive Massive. Oh wow, and and skinny. Now since they are the same decal over and over again, I don't want to go too crazy with it. So I'm gonna mix it up with just some normal books, uh, wherever the normal books are, like just normal stacks of books. And then maybe, and then maybe these ones as well. They don't look too bad. And I'm probably not gonna color them either because these ones look pretty uh, colorful already. <laughs> probably one of my most colorful builds, but I haven't actually colored anything. Oh man, this is uh, this is taking lazy building to another level, huh? I mean. I mean, it still looks all right, I guess. Anyways, I just I just had a very cool idea. Actually, it's not really cool, but like, what if I put a piano in here? Well, like, what if I made this a studio? This is like a man cave in itself. Oh my god, what if I put drums? Holy heck, what if I made this like a studio? I mean, it is a studio. What am I trying to say? This is kind of sick. Okay, I'm gonna put drums here because that doesn't look too bad, and it really doesn't matter. It's just cool to have. Okay, maybe they don't fit, but I'm gonna keep the drums here anyways because you know why not? Okay, maybe I will recolor some of the books. It, I I just need to make it a little less, you know, vibrant. Maybe I'm not a fan of vibrant color. I'm not a very vibrant person either. Whatever. Okay, well, I guess this does it for, for the bedroom. I really don't know what else you can add. I don't know about the drum set. I'm not gonna lie. What if you were just playing drums, looking out the window? Okay, no, 
I'm, I'm trying to add way too much story to this. We don't we don't need a story. Anyways, just gonna put a bit more lighting in here because it's looking a little dark. Yeah, I'm sure that does it. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. You know what? I'm gonna rotate the drum set this way, actually. Let me just take a quick look at what else is new, and then I guess we could move on to the rest of the house because this is probably the easiest part, the bedroom, and probably the bathroom. I'm gonna rush the bathroom as well, actually, because there are no new... I uh, Maybe I spoke too soon. When was this added? Okay, I'm, I'm not adding that, though. Yeah, so a shower really doesn't fit in here, so I'm gonna have to, you know, move around some windows, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna put a smaller window here. Why not? Got some time on my hands. Actually, no, I don't. I have an assignment. I'm gonna make this quick. Yeah, so if the build turns out really looking really bad, don't come for me. It was not my fault. Why the heck can't I get this structural on? I mean, it is technically partially my fault, but, uh, blame my, blame my school, because they gave, they give, they give us a lot, but it really isn't a lot. My time management is just not there. All right, chat, window done. Time to put it back on the, on the wall right here. Oh, why can't I place it on the wall? Okay, great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Giant shower, giant window, paired with a giant box toilet, so people can look at you take a poop. Absolute genius right here. Anyways, that is the least of our worries. We need toilet paper, and we need to make this thing accessible. Why? Because they teach you in architecture school that everything should be accessible and inclusive, but this is not architecture school, so we're vetoing that. I'm joking, it looks okay. I'm gonna chuck a quick bathroom mat in here, why not? Right under, right under the toilet, because that makes sense. And then on this side, I'm gonna have, uh, what, what's it called? The modern sinks, the modern floating vanities, two of them at that. Gosh dang, that is so... Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Let me think of the right word. I wanted to say something, but I, I forgot I gotta be like half PG friendly, but uh, at the same time, I don't really have to be PG friendly because my parents aren't here. So it really doesn't matter. But then again, you guys are probably like <laughs> uh, under under 15 or 15. I'm not bullying you guys, just less bullying you guys. I, I'm not one to bully. I'm not trying to get uh, demonetized on YouTube, but I, I'm gonna move on yeah any anyways i'm <laughs> bathroom bathroom cool bathroom very cool it's very normal i don't know what the heck else are you're you're supposed to really put in in a bathroom like everything you need is in sorry i was looking for something i cannot find it, it, it there was a there was a decorations and then a bathroom part yeah yeah here everything you need is found in here so it's not hard but for some reason some of you guys can't build bathrooms for heck if you know who you are you know who you are i'm not pointing out anyone in particular but yeah bathroom bathroom done bathroom bathroom look cool <laughs> imagine taking a poo and then just <laughs> 50 billion people just watching you. Actually, that's exactly how it is in cities, but th those apartments are like 50 stories high, so I guess I guess that's the difference. This is on the first floor, so yeah, you can do some stocking. Anyways, first L-shaped part of- Oh, it does look like an L. Huh. Maybe I am taking L's. Anyways, yeah, first part of the build done. On to, on to the second part. Actually, I'm gonna do the second floor first, just to make it seem like I've done more. And it's also because, you know, I don't have to do much, because copy and paste god. I am a copy and paste god. See, look, all I have to do is take Take these bookshelves, move them upstairs, take some of the plants because they're part of the new update and they look absolutely heat. Uh, take a couple more plants that I have no idea where they are and just chuck them on the ground. And then for the finishing touch, all you gotta do is add a carpet and there you go. You have a really nice looking second floor reading area. Okay, maybe it's not that nice looking, but <laughs> it's okay. We can deal with it. Oh, maybe it is nice. Maybe it is nice. I just gotta tone this down a bit because it's really bright. Maybe this wall could be a different color too or a completely different different uh <laughs> yeah just some quick adjustments to why is the window like that okay window not tweaking anymore anyways nice little reading area on the second floor now we're just gonna leave it okay so you're probably wondering what i'm gonna do here because i've already got a living room i've already got a bedroom and a bathroom and a second floor reading area this is not gonna be the kitchen obviously but i'm gonna make it the kitchen <laughs> so for the kitchen i'm gonna put it all the way back here in this little nook and cranny and uh i honestly have no idea how real I want this to be because obviously you can't put a stove in front of a window because there's nothing going to it But this is electric. It's actually not but we're gonna call it electric God, I, I I have this thing where uh, I absolutely hate when people uh, put counters in front of windows. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where's the counter? Perfect I'm just gonna I'm gonna do exactly that. Oh wait, were there like were there? Uh, what, what do you call them? Were there mid-century modern counters? I, I don't think that's a thing or maybe I could use the modern one because that, that one's honestly not too bad. The problem with the modern cabinets and, and anything 
appliance related is that why are the cops after me yeah anyways as i was saying the the thing about modern cabinets and anything re appliance related is that they use the ice texture so when you color it let's say uh black it's not actually black and i don't like it i gotta change that but anyways that's the least of my problems because i'm probably not gonna use it anyways <laughs> i'm gonna put a hood over here just because it looks all right yeah it definitely doesn't make sense to put all this in front of three massive windows but uh you know we ball we ball and then because there's three massive windows, I'm not going to use any other cabinets. Like, from the outside, this is going to look like barf. Yeah, this does look like barf. Whatever, I'm, j I'm just going to go over really quick. Nice little microwave. Nice little uh, kitchen-like coffee maker. Just going to chuck that there. I'm going to keep it very minimalistic, I think. Once again, not- Shut up, cops. Oh my god. Are they done? Okay, they're done. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? Not because it's minimalistic. Because, uh, I mean, no. Because, yeah, yes, it is because it's minimalistic. Not because I'm lazy, though. Just to clarify just to clarify anyways gonna put the very normal generic things in here i think they're quite fitting and obviously uh, a kitchen mat it's not a carpet guys it's a kitchen mat i i need to clarify because every time i put a carpet you guys bully me for putting a carpet in the kitchen but no guys it is a kitchen mat or that was the intention at least <laughs> honestly when they divided up the categories into um uh, kitchen bathroom whatever it, it actually kind of helped because now i can actually decorate everything one by one without having to look through everything at the same time all right this doesn't look too bad the question is should i put an island and i feel like i should put an island oh my god look at the sunlight that is that is kind of sick okay yeah I'm, I'm gonna put a i'm gonna put an island because i think that'll look pretty good right modern island goes on the left if we're facing this side left modern island goes on this side if we're facing this side and we extend it and then chat we're gonna take the new chairs for the first time where are the chairs they um they look all right. They're not the best chairs, but they're, they look all right. And then for the plant, I'm going to use this, uh, Pilea plant. P I'm, I'm definitely saying that wrong. Pilea plant. Oh wait, no, before that, I need a table runner. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. And then for lighting, since they only added one new light, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they, uh, they only added this one. I'm not going to use it again because I've kind of spammed it all the way around the house anyways. So I'm going to use another modern lamp. Now, which modern lamp might that be? It's going to be this one. The one I always use great but you know it looks all right kind of this is kind of perfect <laughs> i can't lie <laughs> this this looks unbelievably good anyways i can't remember for the for the life of me if they added a dining table that was also mid-century modern i'm gonna check right now oh they did perfect they have the whole set almost the second they add stools it's gonna be great part of me really wants to take this and just slide it over here you know not because i'm lazy but because i'm a genius i've used the same yellow square pot <laughs> like 17 billion times in this video but you know what it looks all right oh my god it matches up with the su sunlight as well or the skylight this was not intentional but it looks great minimalism is key guys minimalism is key so i was spamming a bunch of lighting okay so now that we have the kitchen pretty much done actually i'm gonna recolor it uh really quick but i honestly have no idea what to recolor it because it's gonna look weird in the oh green guys green green kind of hits hard yeah this is very green <laughs> <laughs> okay uh yeah now that we have that i'm gonna paint this turquoise oh yeah oh yeah 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 oh yeah this is it this is it this is this is peak modernism and then what if we made the the lights yellow okay maybe maybe the ca cabinets need to be a little darker they're they're a bit too vi vibrant oh yeah oh yeah chat this is it chat this is it this is it this is it okay okay last part what do i do exactly for this part and i'm kind of thinking bedroom but bedroom also doesn't really match but oh my god it kind of does it kind of does or maybe an office oh yeah i haven't done an office oh perfect perfect my brain is just so big today oh it's gonna be big later too because i got an assignment to do uh, that's great anyways i'm gonna make this the entrance to an office and uh there honestly wasn't really a point in making these walls because i'm gonna do this anyways with door frames but like hear me out it's it's like a it's a divider but it's not really a divider you know yeah i don't know like i've already got an office over here so like why am i making another office you might be asking and i probably could not answer that probably just because it's cool and i'm gonna and I'm gonna get the lounge chair as well because oh my gosh this thing looks sick and then just because I can afford it I'm gonna get a macbook and put it right here oh my god bellissimo it's just sitting there in the corner what else can I add <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put bookcases again oh god 
Copy and paster. Strikes again. Just gonna make the door frames a little smaller so it conceals the bookcases. And there we go. And then since the bookcases cover a window and a half, I'm gonna take the window that we made over here for the bathroom. And check me out, guys. It's also obstructing. Okay, that was not meant to happen, but uh, it's less obstructive, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that, th this one's actually me being lazy, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is good for, for, for the modern house, or at least a base model, you know? Because, like, I didn't try on the exterior, and I'm probably not going to try on the interior. This The day I try, chat, the day I try will be the day every, everyone is done for. Everyone in the Blogsburg community is done for. I'm winning. There's nothing to be won, but I'm still winning because I am him. Oh, I kind of like the terrace, actually. I'm going to work on the terrace. You know, it's the things that you like working on that turn out the best. I kind of lost motivation on the terrace, guys. I, I, I don't really want to work on this anymore. Um, I'll just leave this as as this. Oh, yeah, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. All right, so, <laughs> modern house. How did it turn out? Actually, it's very different from what I normally build. What is that in the background? I feel like I've pointed that out before. I, what is this? Oh, it's getting bigger. Wait, I'm actually getting closer to it. Oh, it's gone. It's back. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that. Anyways, what is that? Oh, a little mistake. Anyways, chat, here we have a mid-century modern home. Uh, we're gonna ignore everything that came before this. It literally spawned in finished like uh I, I did not touch this i did not color this i do not take credit for this Unle unless it do unless it does good if it does good uh I, I will take credit for it but anyways this is a mid-century modern home cost 221k surprisingly i have no idea how these new plants cost a lot and i highly would recommend using them in your builds but i would also highly not recommend using them in your builds if you're broke but i'm not calling you guys broke because i don't want to get canceled yet yet but maybe one day all right so going through the house you guys have already seen the exterior a bunch the, the roof was very difficult to do if i if i do say so myself uh interior walking in there's the living room tried the hardest on this room also did this off camera which is why i tried the hardest on this room and uh yeah now that i'm looking at it i didn't really try on this room i didn't really color anything either but uh yeah we're gonna leave it at that it, it looks really good it looks really good anyways off to the right we have a staircase leading up to absolutely nowhere and then we have our office area right here with a really nice view of the road god i hate road uh, it's a double road too <laughs> Anyways, nice little office area. Definitely not copied and pasted bookshelves and a MacBook. Definitely painted furniture, by the way. And uh, move and moving back here, we have a dining table and then a kitchen that you can cut cook food on. You can you can be chef. I'm I'm not chef. I am not chef. Salt, soy sauce, and sugar. That is all you need. Anyways, kitchen, dining room, pretty sweet. Could use a lot more detail, but you know I'm not gonna do that because I I need to put detail into my assignment. Anyways, stepping on back here, you have your bedroom. This is probably what I work on the most it also has the most uh new update items so we got this little uh tv stand or, or tv box thing I, I, don't, I really don't know what it's called and then we have the triangle tables and then we have the clock and then we have gardening i think they redid the globe i i honestly think they redid the globe and it looks so much better it, it fits this aesthetic so much more uh, then we got the, uh, the five, six books, seven books, I can't count, uh, for chemistry, but oh my god, they got the worst subjects too. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the left, we have a giant studio thing with a drum set. You know what I want to do one day? I, I want to make, like, a giant studio just for music. It's gonna have every single in instrument, every single subwoofer, every single freaking screen that you would probably need, and it's gonna look sick. Anyways, that's that. Stepping on back to the bathroom, only bathroom in the house, actually. I, I kind of made a mistake there, but... But this is technically a uh, one single single person dwelling anyway so there's no point uh nice little bathroom toilet shower sink everything you need and then you have your driveway that's obstructed by a picnic table that noel placed but i was supposed to place a porsche a porsche here the, the one the one i'm getting in the future yeah definitely anyways that's pretty much it for the modern house actually wait no i didn't go up to the second floor uh the stairs that i said lead up to nowhere uh they actually lead up to a nice little reading area great place to spend your time but obviously not in blocksburg because i don't roll play and then up here there's a little terrace pretty sweet oh wait yeah i gotta show off the skylight the skylight oh my gosh this thing's beautiful imagine eating dinner under this under the stars no stars right now because it's daytime but anyways you get my point no backyard either because you know you're gonna you're gonna want to spend most of your time in okay no i'm i'm bsing right now <laughs> okay i have an assignment to work on so i'll leave it at this sorry it was a little rushed or a, a lot rushed but i just wanted to get this done because you know new update very cool items Thank you, Bloxburg, for putting them in.